back. Well, February is Black History Month and museums can offer a detailed look into the past. 7 News reporters Annalise Murphy and Dan Mayers spent some time at the Underground Railroad Museum in Belmont County to learn about its significance to the Ohio Valley. Started as a hobby for a local historian has now turned into a hidden gem in Belmont County. The Underground Railroad Museum in Flushing, Ohio is the legacy of Dr. John Maddox. Three floors and over 8,000 antique items, the Underground Railroad Museum has been working to educate the community about the history of slavery in the Ohio Valley since 1993. Started by John and Rosalind Maddox, the museum has grown tremendously in the last 20 years. John and Rosalind have both passed on, but the museum is kept alive by Christina Estel, an intern turned friend of Dr. Maddox. He saw how important this history is, how important black history is. Um, black history is American history. And so knowing the importance behind it really, really stemmed um, a love of this history with him and he passed that on to me. Christina describes Dr. Maddox as a very kind and understanding man who was great with people and a charismatic storyteller. He even inspired her to get a master's degree. During graduate school, she wrote an in-depth report of the Underground Railroad, which has helped her as the museum's director. A lot of people don't realize that um, Wheeling, West Virginia was the last stop for slavery. There was a slave auction block on the corner of 10th and Market Street. Um, the first anti-slavery society uh, founded west of the Appalachian Mountains was in 1815 in St. Clairsville. Um, the Underground Railroad movement in this county was huge. Uh, we had 25 stations that I know of of the Underground Railroad. While February is National Black History Month, the Underground Railroad Museum celebrates and educates year-round. The mission of the museum has always been to educate. Their new mission includes keeping Dr. Maddox's and his wife's honor alive and vibrant with every event, tour, and presentation. The museum's hours vary, so if you are interested in taking a tour, you can check them out on Facebook at the Underground Railroad Museum Ohio Valley, or you can Google them. Reporting in Flushing for 7 News, I'm Annalise Murphy, working for you. Thank you, Annalise. Some good news for residents in Wetzel County tonight. Emergency